What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new Nintendo 64 video game review for you this week. This time, I'll be taking a look at Gex 64 Enter the Gecko, which was developed by Crystal Dynamics and published by Midway, with a North American release date of September 30th, 1998. The Gex series first appeared on the 3DO, PC, and Sega Saturn, while this port originated on the PlayStation 1 until it was later sent to the Nintendo 64. The story for this game follows the first one, where Gex has retired and is living in solitude, when his old arch nemesis Rez has returned and taken over all the TVs in the area. After a lot of convincing by some agents and a few promises, Gex agrees to step in and stop him. He does this by rescuing remotes across 24 levels and acquiring a whole bunch of other collectibles. Gex can whip enemies with his tail, eat flies, jump around, and also climb certain walls. Now, I'd like to touch on this game's controls overall. Thankfully, for a 3D action platformer, Gex's attacks and movements are all quick and responsive. However, his jump can feel its head floaty at certain times, especially in some of these tricky to see blind jumps that you may have to go through. Why is it always that these, with these 3D era platformers, that the camera seems to be your biggest hurdle to get through in any specific area? Next, let's touch on this game's music and sound effects, which is where Gex 64 really shines. The sound effects overall in this game are absolutely fantastic, and Gex even has random quips or remarks that he just blurts out during the game. I find it adds a lot of charm and a lot of personality to the game overall. And the music, likewise, fits the overall theme of this game. It's not stellar or the best on the console, but it does a good enough job, so no complaints here. Now next, let's answer the question, is Gex 64 worth picking up and playing today for your Nintendo 64 collection? Well, with a price charting price of $19.34, I would say yes. Just don't go into this game with super high expectations. Super Mario 64, it is not. But, if you can find it online for say like $21 or $20, then yeah, go ahead and pick it up and add it to your collection. Thanks for watching everybody, and until next time.